I do Real it. quick before I show you guys how to do the double cut method, I just wanted to give you guys an example of how long you can really keep your plants in the two cups. So this is a Bootjolokia and this is a Bleeding Borg 9. These plants have never left these cups. They've been in the cup ever since they were seeds and look how big they are now. So granted these should probably be moved into something bigger really soon, but I mean, check this out. I'll show you guys the root system on this. Isn't that crazy? So serious roots coming out of these guys. Um, I just, I swear by the double cut method. It, every single one of my seeds gets done with them. I just absolutely love it. Um, so I just want to show you guys a quick example of what you can really get out of this. All right, so here we've got two red cups, right? We've got a knockoff Walmart brand. We've got the actual Solo brand. So if you look right here, we've got one that is square, one that's circle. So I'm going to take the circle one, set it aside for a second, and I'm going to focus on this one. So I take these four corners and I just cut them out just like this. So I'll come through and it looks like crap, but there we go. So I'll come clean up the edges a little bit. You don't have to, but I do. Okay, so we have one cup just like that, right? So I'm also going to take this cup and I am going to label it. So see here it says skunk red from Jimmy Pickles. All right, we're going to label this. So take it right here, go skunk. Come on. Red. Okay, so I've got skunk red on there. A lot of the times, most of the time. Go ahead and put Jimmy P so I know whose it is. And then today's date. So Saturday the 2nd. So let's go 2, 2. Just like that. Okay? So we've got that part done. Let's go ahead and get some dirt in there. One thing I wanted to show here really quick, um, how I use the, the square and the circle on mine. A lot of people will use the two rounds, right? So that goes in there just like that. What they'll do to give it some extra space is they'll take one of these pebbles, and this is a pretty, pretty good size one. They'll put it in there and they'll put it like that. And so that gives them more room for the hydroponic nutrients once the roots reach down. Where I use the square and the circle, if you look here, this one gives me quite a bit more space down here at the bottom for those roots to grow and those roots to drink. Um, this method works great, especially if you don't want to have two types of cups laying around. Um, luckily, I happen to have both of these, so worked perfect for me. Um, this method does work great. Um, I just happen to like this one a little bit more. Figured I'd show you guys that and show you why I use the square and the circle. All right, so here I've just got my tote that I keep my mix in. This is just, I think it's just a potting soil um, mixed with some perlite and stuff like that, so nothing special. So I just fill this up. Give it a little shake, clean it off. So that's good, right. right? So this soil isn't too moist anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. So let's go ahead and wet it down a little bit. Okay, so now I'll take this, mix it around. Okay, so at least the top part of that is good to go. So I want to plant 
three or four seeds in here. All right, so got the top a little bit. Wet it down a little bit. Okay, so I want to do three or four, so I'm going to do just make one tiny little hole right there. One right there, one right there, one right there. Good enough, right? So I'm going to take my seeds. You want to pick some nice ones. If, if they've got any, you know, if they're looking a little bit black or um, brown, anything like that, don't use them. Skip right over them. I use, you know, these nice big plump ones. So those are the ones I like to use. Okay, so got those in there. Just kind of cover them up a little bit. I mean, I only put them in a quarter of an inch, if that. So you just barely cover them up. Those are in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this, wet it down a little bit more. Okay. The last thing I do with these is take a plastic bag, a little sandwich bag, put a sandwich bag just over it like that. Okay. And then I will show you what I do with this once it's ready to go. Okay, so I've got my cup with the bag on it. That's ready. Whole front of my box comes off. And then right here, I've got a heat mat. See, I've already got a couple seedling or seeds there, not seedlings yet. So I set it right there on that. Um, at this point, it doesn't need any of the light. It just needs to be on that warm mat. So I've got that, that, that power cord comes out here, hooks up to that thermostat right there. So I've got that thermostat that'll keep it right around 80 degrees. Um, that seems to work really well for me. So that's how I do it. That's everything I do. I do that every single time and I have really good success with it.